Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to the Positive Experience Podcast, where we look at the good, the bad, and the ugly in living your best life. Today's segment is called In the Trenches, where we look behind the scenes at what's happening in the clinic. Hello everyone, how are you going? Today I would like to speak and present to you our Pro Physio Plus Grand Vision. This is the master plan on how we're going to take over the world. So the situation is that we are currently housed in medical centers. Our Pro Physio Plus clinics are across six locations around Melbourne. Okay, so we're in Truganina, we're in Wyndham Vale, we're in uh, Newport, we're in Kyneton times two, and we're also in Kingsville. Okay, so with these locations, all within medical centers, it's great because the population that we help in medical centers, they vary from you know aches and pains and niggles. It could be from work cover um, accidents where people get injured at work, people who unfortunately get injured in car accidents, TAC, maybe people in the NDIS, people who have chronic disease problems. In the medical centers, we see a whole spectrum of people who need help. Okay, now with our six locations within medical centers, our game plan is to then, in one specific geography, have these satellite clinics that are positioned around one central performance center. Okay, and at the minute, we have one in Truganina. Okay, and that's with our good friends at Iron Armor Academy, and they are. Uh, you know, very gracious in allowing us space in their or times to use within their space, all the great equipment that they have, so that people who are in this medical center catchment, some of them who need um, more help, more equipment, more rehabilitation um, potential, then of this population, some of them would then make their way to our performance center. Okay, now these guys, they may be people who are looking to lift in the gym. Um, they may want to go through some technique. They may want to do some group classes, okay? When post COVID, um, there may be opportunities to go through some sport specific work, okay? And a lot of that is basically rehabilitation, okay? Now the difference between our performance center and our medical center clinics is the space and the equipment, okay? Our Pro Physio Plus clinics within medical centers are in a room with only a certain amount of capacity of what we can offer you. Now we're moving and growing into a more of a, a standalone space with more equipment, which is great, okay? So then we can help a special type of person, okay? Ultimately, we would like to then travel into this wellness space, okay? So of the people that we're helping, they can find their way towards a true standalone place where we can offer a lot of things to help you with chronic health disease, well-being, improving your performance, and you know this is this is ultimately where we would love to get to. Okay, the wellness space. So, in the grand scheme of things, the vision here is if we have say a catchment or satellite clinics within the outer west of Melbourne, okay, and then within the outer west, okay, we've got a performance center which is. Um, like one of the motherships, okay? On top of that, we can then offer more of a specialized service within our wellness center for people who need that sort of support, okay? And, imp- and improvement in their quality of life and in their health. So I introduced this idea of sickness to wellness, okay? And if we think about this spectrum, okay? Who are the people that are really sick? Generally, people with type two diabetes, People who have strokes, people who have um, like heart disease, heart, okay, people who may have cancer, okay, people who maybe are just unfit, okay, deconditioned. These people, where do you find them? Generally, not so much in the gym, okay, they are at medical centers. So on this health spectrum, We are helping people that are coming to us from our medical center partners in improving their health in trying to move their style up and down on this health spectrum 
from sickness towards wellness. So let's suppose people who have had car accidents, TAC, work injuries, people who um, need Medicare, okay? Let's say if these people that have chronic disease, with our help and assistance with other health providers, they're now moving further and further along the health spectrum. We can then offer the performance center as a, as a place where we can improve their technique to move properly. We, can have, we have equipment now so that they can lift and get stronger. There's nothing wrong with being too strong. They can start to be involved in a community and you know, with the group um, training aspect, COVID compliant obviously, you know, we can really ensure that they are um, finding a community that will help keep them accountable. Okay, and then if they're looking to get back to sport or some sort of vocation that, that they enjoy, then this population, okay, are going to be performing a lot better in their life. Okay, everyone wants to be a high performer. Hence, you know, the medical center for the medical type people that have medical conditions, then they're going to be high performers, the performance center. And then ultimately, so let's say they're feeling pretty, feeling pretty fit. Okay, they're feeling well. Okay, they're feeling happy. Now, most people in our health conversation would be happy here, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. What we would like to offer though, is let's say that you're healthy, but you want to improve your performance, you want to improve your function. You know, if you're an athlete and you're looking to try and play sport, they're not resting on their laurels, they're trying to improve those little percentages. And that's where a lot of people may find um, that they're running low on, on support and the help that they need, the expertise, to improve their life, okay, to improve their well-being. So the way this presented in my own um, life as a personal story, right, is uh, I, I played sport, I got a lot of different achy joints and concussion problems, and the traditional medical model was a bit of a struggle for me to get help because I'm young, I look fine, I, I don't walk around with problems with my heart, I don't have risks of cancer now for different reasons yet, but, you know, my, the acute medical system couldn't help me because I didn't have a problem that they could feel, you know, could, they could action on. But I knew something was wrong and I needed to, you know, find out these answers for myself. It didn't involve getting to the gym and getting strong because it wasn't a strength issue. There was something else going on with chronic inflammatory signs. And for me, I, I wanted to try and make sure that I get in front of the problem before it becomes a full-blown issue. Okay, so in this wellness center, in short, you know, as you're progressing down this health spectrum, okay, things to address to get you closer and closer to ultimate wellness is, okay, what's your sleep like, sleep quality? Okay, what's your diet like? Is it optimal for you? Because not all diets are the same. Not all bodies are the same. They're going to respond differently, which is why it could be frustrating for, for anyone who hears about a success story for a friend or family and you try the same diet plan and it didn't work out for you. There's lots of reasons why and the mechanisms around not just diet, but other things like how you sleep, how you eat, how you manage your stress. You know, you're looking at trying to reduce inflammation, which is a big task in itself. You may be looking at, um, you know, supplementation. That's a long word. <laughs> you may be looking at supplementation. I'm not just talking about like supplements. It may be just supplementing the food that you eat with um, other types of food that you haven't um, opened up your your palate to or your, your plate to. You know, varying the food that you have. Um, the the main vision here, bringing it back to where we are in the race, is we're very much here, okay, in terms of Pro Physio Plus, okay, and, and that's absolutely fine, but our vision to cast forward is to get here and to have these steps along the way, and if we can see that the vision here is to set up a whole footprint across Melbourne, eventually across Victoria, and then essentially around the different states and across Australia, is because this model is so scalable. If we have a footprint of clinics in Outer West Victoria, we have a whole chain of them, and then they can help funnel people that need additional help into our performance centers within the geography. Then we can funnel to our true standalone spot in our, uh, our finish line per se, 
which would be the wellness center offering um, all the other say higher level higher consciousness help which if you're at this stage it would have meant that you've got a good handle on your body and you would have had a good handle on your medical conditions as well whatever they may be so regardless of where you are on the spectrum we can be there to help you all the way through and right now given that we have six locations within medical centers and our very first performance center you know this is something that very much is early days for now so at the time of recording it's the 6th of october um, and this is the snapshot on where we are you know i would like to shoot another video like this this time next year and then give you the update on where we are you know we may not have this guy yet we may not have the standalone wellness center just yet but the overarching vision is that we're adding to the footprint of medical center physio clinics which is a great catchment to help people early on in their health spectrum. They're mostly towards the sickness end of the spectrum. Then as they improve their health, we can offer them more help with our partners in our performance centers. And then ultimately together we can work towards the wellness center, okay? So that's the overarching vision that we have at ProPhysio Plus. And uh, I'd like to take a snapshot on where we are now and revisit this into the future. As always, making healthy simple. Let's be